Hi everybody, welcome to All Games New and Old. I am David Rodriguez and today we're going to be reviewing Marvel Remix. This game was published in 2022 by WizKids Games and was designed by Paul Glasgow. Now this is a really nice lightweight set collection and card drafting game with a cool Marvel theme which I really love. But of course because we're talking about superheroes we have a superhero expert to talk to. What's going on Inconveniencer? It is I, the Inconveniencer, and this isn't just Marvel. This is a remix. Dear God, what are you doing? Please stop. Please make it stop. Oh God, I can never unsee this. Pretty inconvenient that I turned your video into a dance party, isn't it? The Inconveniencer strikes again. Oh god, let's get our gameplay overview. Well, I hope YouTube doesn't uh, doesn't end channels by having horrible, horrible content because that was maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, let's get on to talking about Marvel Remix. So, it's actually a really simple game, and from what I understand, it's a remix of this older game called uh, Fantasy Realms, which. I never played, but I uh, hear it's very similar, maybe a couple differences in the scoring. So if you play Fantasy Realms, some of this might sound familiar. So basically the game starts with uh, two decks. There is a Remix deck and a Villains deck. And each player is going to start with six cards from the Remix deck, and those could be uh, heroes, locations, equipment, maneuvers, probably a couple other things too. <laughs> there, there's a few different categories. and. Um, and then they'll also have one villain in their hand. And on their turn, what they're going to do is they're going to draw a card from either deck and then discard a card from their hand. It could be the card they just drew as well if they don't like it. Once someone has discarded a card, those discards are in the center of the table, not in a pile, all spread out face up so everyone can see them. And so that creates another area from which you could draw a card. So you could pull in from there and then discard a card from your hand if you wanted to. And what you're trying to do with all this is you're trying to create various kinds of combos because the cards in your hand, in addition to each being worth a certain amount of points that are at the top, also will have something that will be affected usually by some other type of card you might have. Like you might get extra points if you have uh, a symbol on another card or uh, even it could be a, a specific person or, or item in your hand too. Uh, so you're going to basically keep going around the table, drawing cards and discarding until there are 10 cards in the discard area. So from there, you're going to score. Um, and the way you score is you're going to actually figure out what the total points are you get for each card. Some cards will be worth a certain amount, just flat out if you get it. Some cards will be worth an amount, but they might have a bonus if you get certain symbols or other cards that it requires. There's some cards, I think I mostly saw it on the heroes and villains, that will have a keyword called blank. Mm -hmm. And it, what that means is that there's a certain card or icon that that card requires you to have in your hand in order for you to get the score off of that card. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it doesn't count towards your hand. You don't get no. You don't get a score from it. it. Also, if it is a hero or villain, it doesn't count towards having that minimum one hero or villain in your hand as well. So you can lose your entire hand if you don't if you didn't achieve what that card needed. Yeah, I did that twice, back to back. Well, sort of back to back. One was one night and the other was the next morning. But yeah. one, my villain blanked. Uh, it, it would blank one of my heroes. And I forgot that and I didn't have two heroes. So automatically I lost because I didn't have a hero in my hand. And the other one blanked a villain under certain circumstances. And again, I only had one villain. So blank that one and I didn't have the villain in my hand. And you need to have one of each of those to, mm -hmm. um, to score. Otherwise it, uh, it doesn't work out. So I was sad. So for the art and components, it's pretty simple. It's a deck of cards, so you're going to be shuffling them. It's pretty, the quality is what you would kind of expect for a deck of cards. Um, and the artwork, it I'm not sure about all of it, but at least I think a lot of it is taken straight from uh, comic books or different media that they've used for the different comics. Yeah, I definitely recognize some of those pictures, like specifically, like I know I have seen them in other Marvel games and, and comic book covers mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So yeah, I don't, yeah, like you, I don't know if it's every single one, if any of it was like made uniquely for this game, but 
Um, a lot of them are pulled right from comics. Yeah. For sure. And the, like, I know we've talked about this in some other games that have also pulled directly from their IP related uh, source. But the nice thing with this one is that it's all kind of from, it's different artists, but it's all kind of from the same genre. So you don't have this really struck, uh, striking uh, differences in artwork. Yeah, I, I kind of uh, I kind of appreciate that because it can be mm -hmm. a little jarring. You know, there's some uh, things like with, I mean, we have got a lot of legendary expansions, expansions where some of them are clearly from like early '90s and some of them are more modern, and just yeah. the way they look is is very different. And so I kind of like that these all feel like they at least went with uh, relatively similar styles yeah. across all the art, which is nice. Okay, so for theme, uh, as many of you might know, I really like. Marvel as a theme. I've got a lot of Marvel. I don't think we have every Marvel game that's out, but we have a good majority of them. Yeah. And I think of the Marvel games that we have at least, this one might be the least thematic. Um, I'm not sure if it's the least, but it's definitely <clears throat> low. Yeah, it's it's super, super low. I mean, uh, really, they could have slapped pictures of anything. You know, hockey players, um, birds, rock formations, whatever, on these cards, <laughs> and it would have worked for the most part. Uh, that being said, I, I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's not completely without theme. Uh, there are cards that you will get more bonuses of if you have certain other things in your hand. So for instance, if you have Thor in your hand and you have Mjolnir, that gives you some sort of bonus. Mm -hmm. And I also noticed uh, the game I did the best on was when my entire hand was pretty much X-Men themed, even yeah. down to the villain. I don't know if the villain mattered as much in that case, but um, I was able to do a lot of combos, and I wasn't even thinking about that as I did it. I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to grab X-Men as much as I love the X-Men, and you might know that too. Um, I was like, oh, this card will work with this card. And at some point, like, towards the end, I'm like, oh, like, all my characters are X-Men people. Yeah, all my best card was when I was collecting all the Black Panther characters, mm -hmm. and, like, um, I, I did, my black, my villain was, awesome, was I think it was Killmonger, um, mm -hmm. and he actually, I got bonus points from his card by collecting cards with the Black Panther logo on it. So with that tag. Um, and so that really encouraged me to collect as many of those cards as I could. Yeah. It is kind of weird because, you know, you, you need to have that villain in your hand, but at no point do I feel like I'm fighting this villain mm -hmm. at all. In fact, I was trying, I was thinking about this and the only thing I could really liken this to as far as thematically is almost more like, you're trying to create some sort of a um, a comic book story of sorts in your hand, which sounds kind of contrary to what I just said. But like, if you're like, hey, if the publisher says, hey, why don't you pick some characters and throw them into a comic, and y y you better pick good. Like, I figure, okay, if I do all this and I have these guys, this is good. <laughs> I am really stretching. I'm trying so hard to give this more theme than it really has. I think. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's. I, it's just not a lot. It's just not. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, do you have anything else that you, you have thoughts on the theme? Yeah, no, I mean, the theme doesn't, the theme doesn't really affect the game very much. Um, and for here, for this game, um, it's there loosely because you do do better based off of getting similar cards. Um, but you know, it also, it's not, the theme is not heavy in this game at all. Yeah, agreed. So overall, I had fun with this game. Um, I, you know, we played it a few times, and we played it uh, with two players, three players, and four players, I believe. Yeah, I think so. What was your thoughts about the like the game ending right when <clears throat> we got to ten cards? Um, yeah, you know, I think before we started playing, I was kind of concerned about that uh, because. It would seem to me that the more players you have, the fewer turns you're going to get. And that could actually still be true. You know, again, we didn't go all the way up to, like, the, the, I think the max is six. But that being said, you know, it's not like there is only ten turns in this game, at least not necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can, when you pull from the discard pile, you're replacing it, the discard, or discard area doesn't grow when you do that. So, I mean, theoretically, your game could be very long. Or it could be very short, just depending on how people want to do it. Uh, so, I mean, I, I guess at a higher player count, it might be more likely that people will see things in the discard pile that will be useful to them, maybe, than at smaller player counts. So it might all work out. But, you know, theoretically, 
if people wanted to ignore the discard area, or if people just did, mm -hmm. you could end up only having like two or three turns in a six player game. Yeah. I don't know how likely that is, but it's possible. So I don't know. Yeah, like I, I have concerns at the higher player count. Like if you're playing at t two players, it's definitely doable. Three players, I think, was okay. Um, even at four players, I think it starts to kind of get a little bit uh, questionable. Um, especially because there's so many different sets. I mean, granted, everybody's playing with the same out of the same deck, so um, the chances that you're not getting the cards that you need are probably pretty similar to the rest of the players. But you also might have a player that has really good luck and they just mm, are yeah. collecting all the cards that they need. Um, and so I think, I think it, especially as the player count gets higher, I think it would be good to like once it gets to ten everybody gets to take like one more t chance or so something along those lines just um because it's probably a six player count that there's a good chance that you're only gonna you're not gonna be able to really achieve much i think yeah and i mean it's it you know when you're going to 10 it's kind of nice because you can see when the end is coming but that end can come much faster if you have to wait for five other people to yeah. do their thing i mean again theoretically they could all pull from the decks and i don't know if that would happen but it could. And so, yeah. like, suddenly you might go from being halfway done to being just done. That yeah. could be it. So, yeah. I mean, it could be an issue. I, I don't... I hate to, I don't want to condemn it too much for that, having not played at six, but, you know, it's it's an area of, of concern, mm -hmm. I think, I guess. Yeah. How do you feel about the the replayability of this game? I mean, it's... it's I, for, I think there's, like, 61 cards in the, um, the remix deck, and then I don't remember how many villains there are, but mm -hmm. quite a bit fewer. Um... Yeah, I mean, do you feel like this has a lot of life to it? Um, I think because you're, you know, it, it there's a lot of randomness to this game. Um, you know, each game is going to feel a little different. Um, but at the same time, like, other than the the symbols, or other than the tags, and maybe the villain, that, the villain and heroes that you get, like, the game feels the same every time to me, um, and so and I did have fun with it. But I do think that um, if a game feels the same every time, that does kind of that can subtract from the replayability. Um, and I do feel that this game has that, um, where I think it's fun. I don't know, I don't know how how often it's a quick game. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, I wouldn't mind playing it back-to-back -back a couple times, but, like, I think it's a game where, like, we'll play it for a little bit, and then we'll take a couple months break from it, and then maybe go back to it. I think this is, you know, it, it is, it, it has that kind of filler game kind of spot. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can play it quick if you're between games or what have you, or as you're gearing up to play, whatever. Um, I don't think it's going to be, like, if you are lucky enough to have, like, a weekly game group, but sadly we don't, but, like, I don't think that I would take this forever to be our filler game yeah. uh it's not not because it's not good like I, I really like it too and it's it's much thinkier than i was expecting mm -hmm. which is fantastic like you you can really spend time thinking about how to do your combos but yeah i do think that if you play it too often or very often you could probably get a little burned out on it yeah but it's so easy to pick up and learn how to play again like even if you haven't played and you forgot you'll pick it up again real fast. So uh, it's it's easy enough to be like, okay, we're going to do this like the next few times we do our game night and then we'll do something else for a while and then we'll bring this back mm -hmm. out eventually. And I think then it'll kind of feel fresh and new again. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be something that you just play extremely frequently for a very long time. I can't really imagine that. Yeah, I agree. So for me, I was kind of going back and forth on this game a little bit about what score to give it. I did find it fun. Um, I do like the, like, trying to kind of come up with the good combinations, and I, I like games where I feel like I'm kind of playing a puzzle. But I do have concerns about the game ending right at 10. The game starts to kind of feel the same, same after a while, so I'm a little concerned about the replayability as well. Um, so I was going back and forth between a 7 and 8, and I think I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and give it a 7.5. Okay. I guess I'll let it slide. I mean, you know, I, I did it once, sort of. The decimal thing. Yeah. Sort of. That was a very special circumstance, but okay, it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We'll go on. Okay. Um, 
I also went back and forth a little bit, actually, and uh, look behind the curtain. We did two takes of this review, <laughs> and uh, I went to put it on my computer, and there was no sound. This is the third take of this review, and um, I'm not even sure if the score I'm going to give now is is exactly the same. I think it is, but I, I, I mean, I, I've kind of been mulling it over now that we have a second chance to kind of do this. Yeah. Uh, regardless, though, I'm still giving a good score, so let's not freak out about this. All right. So, I really like the game quite a lot. I mean, it helps that it is a theme I like, even if the theme is not strongly represented. I do just like looking at the pretty Marvel pictures. That's great. And I enjoy the gameplay of this as well. I was very pleasantly surprised um, how much you have to think about, like, oh gosh, is, should I get rid of this card to get this one? Like, is that going to be worth it long term? I was impressed at my own ability to focus on one particular combo and screw myself over on another <laughs> combo, which um, that's entirely me. Hopefully most of you are better <laughs> games than I am. Uh, but nonetheless, it was very memorable for me, even though it didn't go my way. It was kind yeah. of funny in a way. I was um, almost screaming at myself. I was so mad at myself. Uh, but it is not itself inherently a frustrating game. It's just my own goofy actions. Um, you know, I think if this game could somehow feel more varied from play to play, um, and if the theme was somehow integrated a little more, I might rated a bit higher than this because I how much I enjoy it. But with those two factors being the case, I'm going to give it an 8. And um, yeah, I think I, I think if either of those two, it wouldn't even have to be both, if either of those two other things were the case, if, if it felt more varied from play to play, or if the theme is somehow more integrated, it might be a 9 because I like it so much. Uh, so if you are not super wrapped up in theme like I am, or, you know, if, if you play games very sporadically anyway, mm -hmm. you might think of it even higher. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on, like, I almost want to give it a 9, and I, I find myself not quite being able to justify that as much as I really, really enjoy it. I'd be happily playing this game right now. Uh, it's a load of fun, but, um, yeah, it's going to be an 8 for me, but that's still pretty great. So we got an 8 and a 7.5, averaging out to a 7.75. God, I'm good at math. <laughs> Except for when it comes to figuring out combos. That's where I fail. <laughs> Apparently, that's bad. Um, but it's really good. Not very expensive game. You know, if you've thought about Fantasy Realms like I had, but uh, you like the Marvel theme better, go get it. I, think, I don't yeah. think you'll be upset about it. So, Anyway, I do hope that you have enjoyed this review. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time we put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed that video, you might also like this one. Or this one. If you like any of our videos, what you should do is click this little button to subscribe so you'll know about the next time we put out a video. We'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.